Hi everybody, it's Al, and uh, I'm going to do a, an update on my wind turbine uh, setup and the towers. Uh, that's the original tower. It used to be 75 feet tall. Uh, it's uh, coming down in size. We took the, or I took the uh, top off, and uh, uh, we had a storm at one time when there were dual towers on there, and or uh, dual arms on the tower, and these towers are not made to flex side by side and it collapse. So anyways, uh, rather than bringing it up on that base, which is a tilt-up base, that requires it to have guy wires going to the other side of that shed, as well as guy wires over here. And there's another set of, uh, there's another tie point that is up there that you really can't see because I just got through uh, uh, moving stuff around with a tractor so there's there's the other tie point right there uh, I had to uh, uh, go ahead and run the uh, landscape rake with a tractor over the yard to get rid of some holes that I had in there and uh, so anyways what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take that tower down uh, on the pivot which is down here and instead I'm gonna put twin towers right next to each other you can see it there that one's already done and set up this one, I just, uh, you can see, I just dug the holes here uh, with, you know, a post hole digger. And that hole is about three feet deep, give or take. It's about 33 inches right now, I guess. Um, so that's kind of where we are. You can see it right there. Uh, the hole is three feet, but the tower is not all the way down to the bottom. Uh, and uh, there's probably, you know, another three inches or so before it goes all the way down. But the hole itself is three feet deep. Um, and it just it's a little bit too narrow right at the bottom for it to go all the way down but that's okay because it'll it'll still have the anchor weight from the concrete uh, that extends down into the into the ground and so I already have that one done and it's cured so that one's good to go and then all you got to do is once you put it in there uh, it's just make sure that you level it right so uh, to level it kind of look at that make sure that it is leveled that one looks okay uh, that way it looks okay that way also and if we were to look at it this way that looks okay as well so we're we're plumb we're leveled all the way through uh, I'm happy with it and now all I gotta do is uh, is dump the uh, dump the cement in there and uh, the way that I did the other one is I just uh, fill the uh, uh, I filled the hole with water essentially and began dumping 80 pound bags of cement and then I used that long nose shovel there to uh, dig into the uh, cement or into the concrete actually uh, so they're 80 pound bags of uh, quickcrete and uh, I make sure that it's fully saturated and I continue adding one bag at a time until it's all the way to the top that one over there took 10 bags so if you are thinking about doing this uh, you're looking about um, a three foot uh, dip deep hole and it's about 15 inches in diameter uh, give yourself 16 inches to be on the safe side and so three foot deep 15 inches in diameter and it'll take about 10 pound 10 80 pound bags of uh, quick creek so anyways that's uh that's what's going on right now sometime this week i'll pour the cement hopefully it'll be done by this weekend and then uh, if it is and i have the time i'll go ahead and rent uh a man lift and begin assembling the towers and then put the uh, put the turbines on top and the way that's gonna go it's one tower is gonna be uh, 35 feet the other ones are gonna be 30 feet and then that's it that's enough to clear my trees all around me and to give me plenty of power without me worrying about wind loads and uh, things of that nature so that's gonna streamline that quite a bit and that's uh, that's the home of the uh, uh, wind max uh, one uh, kilowatt uh, turbines I still have a half a kilowatt um, wind blue turbine that you see up there which I got to replace those blades those Raptor blades are junk um, and so that one's gonna go up and I'll probably use one and a half inch uh, I got two inch pipe so I might use two inch pipe with one and a half inch reducer and just really tie it to the corner of the of the shed uh, make it go up and then uh, I'll just bolt it right into the uh, the column that's in that in that corner and so that'll give me three turbines uh, or two and a half kilowatts so anyways uh, that's the update I know it's uh, it's kind of a quick thing 
and uh, I haven't done any videos on solar or wind in quite a while and so it's now uh, time to get back into it now that I have pretty much this project is underway I got a little bit of time to start dedicating back to my wind and solar so expect a, a few more videos of that uh, so God bless everybody thanks for watching and take care